Okay. So in part one, we talked about uh, the positive traits that the students uh, of Rabbi Yochanan went out to see, and now we're going to see the flip side. So, Amr Lahem. So Rabbi Yochanan again said to them, Tzuru, go out and see Yizu Hiderach Ra'a. And what's a uh, negative path that a person should avoid in life? So on some of these, we're actually going to see the opposite of what we saw before, except for 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 one of them. So, um, Eliezer says, having a bad eye. When you meet someone uh, <clears throat> for the first time, for the first couple times, uh, instead of looking for their good traits, you immediately cling and uh, overemphasize to yourself their negative traits. And that's something to be avoided. <clears throat> Rabbi Yeshua on there, Rabbi Yeshua says, Chaver Ra, to be a bad friend. Uh, if you're a friend, how can you be negative? So one explanation could be that you're a negative influence on your friends. Meaning... It doesn't mean you won't come to their aid. It doesn't mean that you won't spend time with them. You will. You're a friend, but you're a bad friend in the sense that uh, long term, you uh, imbue a uh, negative influence on the people that you are friends with, uh, with the things that you do. So that's just one explanation as to what Chavera, being a bad friend, uh, couldn't mean. Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef says, Shachin Ra, to be a bad neighbor. How can you be a bad neighbor? Uh, we can all imagine. Uh, I'm sure we've all experienced it. Um, you know, just lacking, you know, common courtesy and things like that. So that's Shachin Ra. Rabbi Shimon, so here's the difference. Rabbi Shimon says, Rabbi Shimon ben Asanel, Halova ve'eno mishalim. One that borrows money but does not pay back. Then the Mishnah goes on to say, And if you borrow money from a friend, or a fellow, fellow uh, Jew, fellow person, it's like you're actually borrowing from God. As it says, The wicked one will borrow, the Russia will borrow and not pay back. Well, the righteous person the righteous one, which we'll say is, is God, according to this explanation, Chonin bin Hussein is gracious and he gives. So, unfortunately, money uh, can come in the way of not only business partners, but also friends and family. And, you know, accepting a loan, borrowing money from someone and not paying back is, uh, is a very bad thing. And so the question is, how is this, all the other uh, rabbis, all the other students gave the flip side as to what they said before. Before they said to be a good friend, now they're saying do not be a bad friend. Before they said have a good eye, now they're saying do not have a bad eye. Rabbi Shimon, though, before said, if you look in uh, the a good trait is to uh, anticipate the future and make good decisions. Now we're saying that the negative is to borrow without paying back. And yet you can, uh, you can explain, one can explain, that it's actually, it's very fitting. Because if you borrow without paying back, it means that you didn't uh, foresee in the future that you won't be able to pay back. In fact, the Talmud, the Gemara states that uh, it's uh, especially uh, negative. Uh, it's not a good thing for a person that knows that he won't be able to pay back to, to, to take out a loan. He needs to word his uh, need in a different way. He can't say it's a loan and then not be able to pay back. He needs to be able to see in the future and see that he won't be able to do it. Hopefully with people and therefore will give, you know, it as charity and not necessarily expect them to pay back now. Uh, but that's the flip side of, of uh, uh, seeing the future, so to speak, is to... Um, Borrow without paying back. Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Lezer says, Leiv Ra, to have a bad heart. Amar Lehem, Rani is Dibre Elozer, but Arach, Midrechem, Shavuha, Dvarav, Dibrechem. That Rabbi Yochanan concludes by saying the same thing he said before, just the flip side, that a bad heart, if you have a bad heart, that means you have a bad eye, that means you're a bad friend, that means you're a bad neighbor, that means you borrow without paying back. 
So that statement includes uh, and envelops and it's an umbrella uh, term, so to speak, for all those other items uh, listed in the Mishnah. Uh, stay warm. Uh, drive carefully if you have to. Uh, drive carefully and uh, have a good day.